Welcome to the Introduction to 3D for MicroStation Connect Edition. Here is a summary of the contents of this course. You will learn why the creation of 3D geometry will improve design visualization, how to manipulate, create, and render any custom 3D view, and how to isolate a portion of your 3D design. You will also create custom drawing planes draw lines in 3D space, and place and manipulate 3D cells. The first topic is transitioning from 2D drafting to 3D designing. The interpretation of 2D orthographic drawings into a 3D design image has been a problem for years. When the original design source is a 3D design, the project team has less problems visualizing the design. Also, 3D save views can be placed in project deliverables and both area and volume data can be extracted. These factors will result in less manual drafting since all orthographic drawings are extracted from the original 3D design. In this topic, you will learn how 2D drawings can sometimes cause difficulties in visualizing a 3D design. You will also see examples of 2D and 3D drawings in 3D space. In MicroStation, open the drawing 01-transitioning from 2D to 3D.dgn from the work page in the data set for this course. View 1 has a top view of a 3D object and view 2 is the front view. With just these two views can you develop a 3D mental image and draw a right side view? Compare your image with the actual right view by opening view 4 to see the 3D design in a right isometric open view 2. There are more 3D solutions for these two views. I will open view 6. You can see the object protrudes. And view 7, the object is rounded, but still the orthographic views are the same. Top view, front view, right side view, right isometric. By designing in 3D there is no confusion visualizing the design. Let's take a look at a 2D block created in the top view of a 3D design file by opening the file O2 2D shapes in 3D space.dgn. Note that the 2D shape has no height and is therefore a line in view 3, the front view, and view 4, the right side view. There is no value in the Z axis. Now open the file O3 2D shape extruded. In this design, the 2D shape has a value in the z-axis. Extrusion is a 3D technique and will be covered in another course. Take some time to view the axes for each view. I will turn off view 1 and uh, view 3 and view 4 and expand view 2 and then fit the view. When learning 3D, working in a single right isometric view will speed up your transitioning 
from 2D drafting to 3D designing. As you may have noticed, a 2D view only displays an area in the X, Y, or top view. A 3D view displays a volume, or in other words, the geometry has a value in the Z axis. The 2D and 3D drawings also have a global origin. The 0, 0 coordinate for 2D and the 0, 0, 0 coordinate for 3D. Both 2D and 3D have default drawing extents. These sizes are controlled by the File Settings, Design File Settings dialog. Working Units. The typical 2D default extents are 1 kilometer in X and Y axis. The 3D default settings are 1 kilometer in X, Y, and Z axis. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.